Hey guys, all right, so I'm starting my last week of boot camp. Um, I brought a friend this week who was willing to get up with me at this god awful hour. So yeah, we're gonna see what we're gonna do this week. Um, last week, gotta power through. Cycle abs. So on my cycle abs, I had my head behind, my hand behind my head, right? Alternate, elbow to knee, side to side, torque. Shoulder blades are up off the mat. Pull behind the knee. Good. Now that leg has to drop a little more to the ground. Keep those legs nice and straight. Try not to bend the knee. Good. Shoulder blades off the ground. Oh, easy, man, easy. Come on. Come on. Who wants some? Who wants some? Come on, 30 seconds left. All you got. Oh, can't screw it. She's sick. Her body's like, all that's worth doing. Freaking awesome right there. That's how we do it. Hold with stretch. Give me some. I got your little fingers right here. Okay. How was your workout today, Gordney? It was good. This workout was definitely one of the harder ones, I thought. I don't know. You rocked it, though. Part of it wasn't harder, but, like, part of it was. So the big question is, how do you get up at five in the morning? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Without was, drinking coffee. I don't. I don't. I know, right? Like you're I don't just, know. You intrigue it's me. A, it's a. It's a talent. And you're and you're in a good mood and you're friendly and nice. That's how I used to. Um, I was telling you this before. Like I used to, guys. I used to work on movies and we would have like god awful call hours and I would be the one that was like up and peppy and I don't know how I did it. I don't know. And he smelled good. <laughs> And he was like, you smell good. And I was like, I'm not wearing body spray. And I was like, it's my awesome deodorant. It smells wonderful. Now I smell like power. That's what it's we're going to call power. that stench. This is the smell of power. Thank now, but when good. we work on movie sets, I'd always be like, hey, everybody. How do you like this 3 a.m. call? <laughs> They'd be all like, shut up. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. We did a good job. A I'm very yeah, proud you. Yeah, you did an awesome job, too. It was fun. Yeah. So we're going to go for I'm a run gonna interview tomorrow. interview you. Oh, do I look awesome? My sweatiness? Yeah, just as good as I do. I'm all salty. Fun. And bug sprayed. The yeah, mosquitoes those, were getting us. Yeah, they were like Texan sized mosquitoes. Yeah, it was weird. But you know, that bug spray worked. So did you like it? I did. Um, I think it was definitely worth the, like, the money. And I usually work out Tuesday and Thursday mornings. But I only run. And so we were talking about how running's not enough to like work your whole body. So the ab and you heard, workout. Hey, and this trainer who's like actually has a degree. I mean, she's trained for years. She knows what she's talking about. She was telling Jenny, if she started doing more resistance and all that stuff, yeah. her running would increase by, she said it's like as much as 40%. Yeah. She'd be a better runner. So, um, so yeah. So I think, I think Courtney should come running with me tomorrow, but no, it was, it was really, it was a good workout. Um, the ab workout was the You should come to the gym me, with me so. is what you should do. That could Come be fun. Gym. We should do that. Because we can go right here. When Kyle, we put the girls to bed and go at 9. Yeah. We just got to make sure they're in bed before 9 because the gym closes at 10. Okay. All right. So it's good. All right. So it's good. Good workout, you guys. Hey, guys. So it is my last day of boot camp. Yeah. So we um, were just told we don't need our dumbbells today, which is a first. So I'm curious as to what we're going to do. So yeah, here's the last day. It's going to be awesome. I have been recording it the entire time. I am not lying to you. Oh, it's okay. I'll That's what editing for. I'll get you for round two. Come oh, on, come on, come on. 30 seconds! Kill it, kill it, kill it! Rock and roll. You gotta bend your elbows. Get those elbows bent. If you bend your elbows, there we go. Lift the hips and the elbows at the same time. That's it. Pull through. Come on, 15 seconds! 15 seconds! Drive. Get those hips up. There we go. Don't hold your breath. 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Come on, you can do these. You good. You got five, four, three to the end. Two. Rotate. <laughs> you are jumping out. There we go. There we go. We almost done with round one. That was some fast bear crawling, huh? You guys did that. So you want to sit down slightly, sit down slightly. There we go. Stick your butt out, stick your butt out behind you. Like you're sitting on a bar stool. There we go, I knew I can get it. Keep those arms in front. Come on, drive, drive, drive. There we go. Five, six, seven, eight, 
Nine. Pick a side. One. Left side or right side. Two. Three. Same side. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Leave your feet up there. Straight leg toe touches. Up. One. Come on. Two. Up. Three. Four. Five. Leave them. Six. Straight the legs out. Seven. Eight. Nine. Oh my God. Fifty. There we go. Round oh. one. Round one. All right. So. Second round. Give us. A Crawl or sprint. Nicely done. Good job, good job, good job, good job. All right, double smacks. Med ball jumps. Touch in the middle. Rebound. You're rebounding pretty much. Here we go. Five, four, three, two. Yep, put them up behind you. There we go. Open your feet up slightly. Open your feet up. There. Open them up. Open them up as wide as your hips. There we go. Butt down. Remember, once again, you're keeping your knees behind your toes. Good. Oh, I got you. Sorry. Sorry. Go. Take your medicine ball. Pick it up. Put your butt down. Put your butt down. There you go. Pick it up. Bring it to your chest. And explode. Get up above your head. Don't let go of the ball. There you go. Touch. Yep. Go back. Get your butt down, butt down behind you. 25 seconds left. Crawl them out. Crawl or sprint. Hey, Kristen, you're bear crawling from station to station. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. Come on, Kel. You got this. You got this. Okay guys, so I just finished the last day of boot camp. This this camp this the today was hard. It was real hard. I I was all sweaty. So but it was good. Like I thought it was a good workout. It was definitely like a challenging one. Like I had to really push myself. So it was really cool. And I'm really glad I did it. Um, I have a friend who's doing it. She came and did it with me. And it was a hard workout. It was, but it was awesome though. It was. It was really and she is really encouraging, so it was and fun Courtney's having her there. not driving. I'm driving. So. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so um, I just really get a good vibe from um, the trainer in this one. And and um, I was gonna say my friend. She was saying the same thing. She was like, I liked this a lot. She said this was. She's done other things like this, and she said this one was a really good one. It worked her really hard. So. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm all about this. It was awesome. Um, I'm really glad we did it. Hey guys, okay, so this is my update for my great slim down weeks five and six. I didn't update last week, I was just busy. The week before was spring break and I had a friend in town who did boot camp with me, as you saw in the video, so that was cool of her. And then this week was spring break for some of my cousins who live elsewhere, so they were here. So anyway, I've just been busy. Um, Grayson is teething big time. He's got three and a half teeth. I say and a half because the fourth tooth, like one tiny corner has like burst through, but it's not all the way through yet. Oh my gosh, you guys, he is just not sleeping. Like, I don't know. Hello, little lizard outside of my window. He's all like, hey, just stunning myself. It's a pretty day. Um, but yeah, so great. Oh my gosh, Kyle and I are just like at the end of our ropes. We're exhausted. We are exhausted. It's been like two straight weeks of him not sleeping. This is awful. It's just like, this is like horrible. And this is like, he's he'd been better. Like we'd been on the way to like sleeping through the night. So yeah. Okay, so in terms of weight loss, I'm down seven pounds. Seven pounds. That's it. Like, okay, I know that's good, but like, oh my gosh, are you serious? Seven pounds, really? Like I've been working out for six weeks and I have off days, right? Like occasionally. But for the most part, I am so good. And 
I feel like I'm fighting so hard to progress so slowly. And it's kind of irritating. I will say that I'm losing weight the way I'm supposed to by that Weight Watchers for Nursing Moms program. They design it so that your points, if, if you're doing, they base it on your weight and all of these other things and um, they design it so that you're losing about a pound a week. Uh, they say that that way, that ensures that your milk supply stays up. So I guess like the plan is working exactly as it should be, <laughs> but I just, usually I lose like five to 10 pounds in the first like month, you know? And so it's just kind of hard not to be like, Phew. and I know the scale is not everything. Like I'm very much aware of that, but it still, it still irritates me. So anyway, I just, it's like I said in week four, I feel like I've never worked it this hard in my life to make, I, I feel like I'm like every ounce I lose, I'm like working for. So, and here's the kicker, like the days like I'm bad, and when I say bad, I usually, I, I, I pr almost 100%, almost 100% stay within my points. And the days that I don't stay with my points, I pull from my like anytime points, so I'm technically still doing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. But I almost, almost 100% stay within what I'm supposed to be eating, and, but on some days I eat healthier than other days, you know? So. The thing is, is that even when I've been eating, like, the days that I don't eat as healthy, I lose just as much weight <laughs> as the days where I'm, like, so good. And that is annoying. That is, like, I'm, like, really? But that is a very, very, like, slippery slope. You have to be careful not to get caught in that trap of, like, well, you know, I'm doing the same whether I work hard or not because that'll snap. Like, that'll get you. Like, that'll just, like, reach up and, like, bite you in the butt. So, um, if, you, if that ever happens to you, don't give in to the temptation to just, like, relax a little um, because you might think you're losing weight the same way, but it'll, like, in the end, you'll end up putting it back on or your weight will, loss will stall out. So I'm not falling for the trick, but it is still kind of frustrating that the day I'm like, really, I had, like, some pasta and, like, you know, yogurt today, blah, 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 and I didn't, I, like, lost the same amount of weight as the day I had, you know, vegetables and, like, a small portion of grilled chicken and, you know, you know what I mean? I'm just like, really? Like, so... Oh, but that's okay. You know what, though? At the end of the day, too, um, I just keep trucking. Like, I, I just, this isn't gonna win. Like, I don't, I want to be 30 pounds down. And if I have to get there kicking and screaming and clawing my way to, like, my weight loss goal, I'm gonna do it. So, yeah. So, yeah, take that, fatty body. Like, I'm not giving up. I'm just gonna keep on going. And so, and I am happy with the progress so far. I mean, I'm losing technically more than a pound a week, so, <laughs> yay. Um, let's see, boot camp finished with a bang. It was awesome. We're in our off week. However, we have a list of workouts that we're still doing. Um, so, still working out. Uh, last week, I didn't work out as much as I normally do. Um, I still did all my boot camps, but normally I work out every day in between two, and I didn't do as much of that. Um, I, I had a, t a visitor from out of town, and I don't want to blame it completely on that because I still could have gone and worked out. But it is hard when you have friends, and you know you're you're tired from the day, and you want to visit, and you don't want to go take an hour, and so um, that was like you know that's just my fault, but didn't really seem to affect anything. I still lost the same amount of weight, so <laughs> oh well. Um, this week have been my workouts. Uh, they're not as good as when I was doing boot camp, but I still feel like they were okay. Um, now I'm having my own personal dilemma because um, boot camp was definitely successful for me. I've really, really got a lot out of it. So right now we start again next week if you're going to do it again. So right now I'm at this point where I'm trying to figure out am I going to do boot camp again and spend the money or just go join a gym. Um, my neighborhood has a gym. Like, we have our own private gym um, as one of the amenities of my neighborhood. However, you know, if I joined a gym, the gyms have, like, they'll watch the kids. They have classes and pools and, you know, all kinds of stuff. So, I don't know. I'm debating. Um, I really feel like I don't, can't, I, I feel like I don't care who you are. I really think no one can get a workout that's as good as when you have like a trainer. Um, I think you can come pretty close. <laughs> and that's just my opinion. I'm sure there's somebody out here who's like, no, I, I kick my own butt. Like, so that's awesome. But you know, there, we had people in the classes that were athletes. Um, and you know, 
even they, they know how to work out on their own. They know how to push themselves, and they still seemed like they were very, very much challenged by having a trainer right there in your face. So um, I'm going to go check out two gyms this weekend with Kyle, and um, I want to see, because sometimes these expensive gyms, how they get you is that you join, but like when you join, the price doesn't include classes and things, and I need them to include classes. I need there to be actual aerobic you know workout classes that I can go do because that's where I'll get a much better workout so um, I need to just go see like how much that's gonna cost you know what are their policies with the children you know what am I getting for my money so we're gonna go do that this weekend and um so yeah so I'll let you guys know what I decide um oh man I, I would wholeheartedly recommend that boot camp though I'm gonna put the link below it was just fantastic oh fantastic they did such a good job um I feel like I like I want to write them like a thank you note. So that's that's the other point I want to bring up. So my numbers on the scale may not be great, but my clothes fit different and better. Um, there's oh, oh yesterday I wore a shirt that um, it it fit me before, but it would like kind of hug my stomach, and I wore it yesterday and it just like flowed. Like there was it did not hug my stomach at all. It was just flowy and pretty, and I was like, oh you know wow like. And I, I, you know, for only seven pounds down, like that was a big difference in how that fit. My shorts that I have, I have, I just, I bought new shorts, um, a black pair and a khaki pair. Um, I don't know, in February, uh, I think, I guess that was, you know, when the weather started getting warmer here. And because all I had were maternity shorts, and then like I have my shorts from before pregnancy that are like size six that don't fit me at all right now. So I didn't fit into those, and I don't want to, my maternity shorts are too big, like I don't want to keep wearing those. So I went and just got like, I guess like fat shorts, <laughs> but they were cute, you know? But anyway, so I bought two pairs of those, and they already, um, when I wash them, they fit well, but then they, they get loose already. And I'm only seven pounds different. So clearly the working out is making better improvements to my body than just the weight loss number. So that is awesome. And I feel stronger. Like, I, I not just feel, I know I'm stronger. Definitely stronger. Like, picking up my daughter, um, you know, picking up things from that. Like, all of it just doesn't take as much effort. Um, you know, I don't get out of breath as easily. I'm definitely, definitely in better shape. And that's really good because, you know, that means it's good for my heart and all that stuff. I just really need to lose this fat around my abdomen, you know, which is really unhealthy place to have fat. So, my legs, like, definitely, like, are looking pretty awesome. They're getting slimmer. Um... Obviously, I could tone them more. All that stuff could be toned more, but, you know, it's 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 happening. So, I'm hoping, I don't know. I, I really don't know. It seems like maybe I'm just not going to lose the weight fast this time, and I need to just be at peace with losing it slow and steady. This, I think that the weight I'm at now, I really need to, I really need it to stay off. Um, that was one thing, too, with, uh, you know, I lost weight after Sophie. I worked out really hard. Um, ate better and was losing weight at a good clip but those last pounds I lost I put back on like that with Grayson when I got pregnant with him and I think it's because those those pounds hadn't had a chance to like really be gone <laughs> so I really want to drop more of this weight drop more of the fat specifically the unhealthy fat that's just hanging on my body I want to get rid of it and have it be and have it be gone for a couple of months before I want to try to get pregnant again so that way it kind of sticks better you know so it's like that's like what I keep thinking about and so that's another reason it bugs me that it's going slow is because I'm like come on hurry up but you know what you can't you can't rush beauty right you can't rush perfection <laughs> that's a good way to look at it so yeah so I think we talked about this in another video I think it's about time for another 10 day challenge maybe that will jump start uh, help jump start my metabolism um so yeah, so let's think about doing that. I'll, I'll, I'll kind of like look at the dates and things and maybe we can get one of those going soon. All right, you guys, so that's it for now. Um, hopefully, you know what too? Um, it seems like during the week sometimes my weight fluctuates up, but I'm always down at the end of the week, so that's good. Oh, I know, uh, the other thing. So I think I'm gonna change my weigh-in days to Thursday because that still gives me the weekend to kind of like be more um, like splurgy. <laughs> And then, like, so a couple of days to, like, be strict before the weigh-in. But then it would help me be able to get my videos up on time. Because right now my weigh-ins are on Friday. And it's really hard because um, Fridays are very busy days for us. 
and it's really hard for me to get my videos up on time. So I was like, maybe if I had my weigh-in on Thursday, I could have all day Thursday and like Friday morning or whatever to try to get video up on time. You know, still might not happen. You know, you guys know, you know, people have kids or even if you don't have kids, you've seen people with kids. Like, <laughs> you never know what life's gonna throw at you. So anyway, all right, you guys. And so I hope you are doing awesome. Um, I, you know, some of you are out there are losing it super slow like me. I have some friends on here who have lost the weight quickly and in, in a healthy way too. And oh, you guys, I'm so jealous of you and you are doing fantastic. And those of you who are losing it slow and steady like me, yay us because that's fine. You know, we're working just as hard and we'll get there. You know what I mean? Like point blank, we'll get there. And if you're having bad weeks, if you're gaining, it's okay. Trust me. Cause that happens too. And it's annoying. But, you know, if you just, like, give up or think it's okay to quit, then you're never going to get to your goal ever, no matter what. You know? So, here we go. Let's keep hanging in there. And you know what, too? It's been six weeks. Six weeks. Six weeks, seven pounds. That's pretty awesome. So, I'm not going to fret about that. And I'm stronger. So, you know what I'm saying? It's, like, awesome. That's pretty great, too. All right. Okay, guys. So, that's it for week five and six. And I will talk to everybody later. Bye.